guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is john uh i make fitness faith wellness lifestyle kind of content if you're into that make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so today we are talking about the feeling of you don't know what it is you're doing and i found myself in that situation and the reason I found myself in that situation is because I've been putting in so much work and effort and consistency and I was not, I'm not seeing the results of what I'm trying to build. And so I felt like, oh my God, I'm really failing at this. So what exactly is it I'm, I'm doing? And uh, it made me have a bad day. And it wasn't helping because I was also comparing myself with other people who are doing the same thing and they're just thriving. And I just felt like maybe this is not even for me. <sighs> so personally, instead of dwelling so much on the negative uh, after I vented and said all those things, I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? Is this even worth it? After all that complaining, <laughs> what I usually do after that is now let's you vented now let's let's work on getting into a better mental state because the thing is bad days don't last i hope you know that life is very fleeting bad days don't last even the good ones sometimes like i may feel bad today but tomorrow is going to be a completely new day a completely completely happy day i won't even remember the worries of yesterday so yeah so i try to not dwell so much on the negative that is happening after that event i did what i know to do when i'm having a terrible day and that is just to do what i can so i did what i could so i came back home i was in town running errands i came back home and uh the thing that was stressing me was growing my Instagram. I just keep on getting a follow and then unfollow. Guys, please go support my Instagram. <laughs> a follow and then unfollow. I'm putting out all this content where it's like my community is not finding me. But anyway, so I came back home and the thing I knew to do, like I could do, was okay, let's research some more on how to grow Instagram. So that's what I did when I came back home. I watched some a couple of YouTube videos, I wrote down notes, you know, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm not in the best mental state to start brainstorming on the points I wrote down, so I figured, uh, let me do something else. Ideally, I would have watched a badass movie because... <laughs> movies with uh, strong characters just make me feel like a badass you know like you can conquer the world but I was doing a fast so no movies weren't an option so I figured let me just take a nap and then maybe I'll journal afterward and just write what I'm feeling and um yeah and then getting a little bit of a workout and I did all that and that is usually the end of my self-care when I'm having a bad day I do what I can what I am capable of doing with that bad day and then I'll take a step back and take the day easy I'll journal you know I'll try and work out if I feel like if I don't feel like I'm just going to be a couch potato so I did what I knew to do and I felt good after my workout you know and um showering and pampering myself i started brainstorming and i uh, on the points i wrote down i did all the things that those people uh recommended that one do i came up with content ideas you know i did all that and then just when i was having supper i decided let me listen to a podcast and that's what i did so there's this podcast called Girls Gone Bible and I was listening to the episode by Stephanie Ike and I encourage you to watch it. It's a very good episode. She said something that really stuck with me. God is not a reactive God. And what I got from it is that um, if you've received a word from God to do something and then in the midst of your journey, you feel like, 
I God, where are you? I can't. You're not talking to me anymore. Did I hear you wrong? Uh, why? Why can't I hear you? Why won't you confirm this thing for me? And that usually happens a lot, especially when you're going through uh, a hard time when you're pursuing something that you feel like God has placed in your heart. And the reason she said God is not a reactive God is to encourage you that if God gives you a word and then in between that word you, you're not hearing him, <laughs> It doesn't mean that God has changed your mind. If you clearly had him to do something, then that means you have to continue pursuing it even when things are becoming hard. Just because uh, something became hard does not mean the assignment has changed. So you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing forward. And she mentioned, and she mentioned something else. Uh, when you're doing the work of God or when you're doing something that God is leading you to do, you're going to face a lot of resistance because the enemy doesn't want you to be aligned with what God, God's will is. So you have to be very careful to not give up because you're, you may not know it, but in the spirit realm, there are forces fighting against you to make you feel defeated. But you have to push through and keep going even when things feel like they're not working out, even when you feel like you're failing. If God has placed something in your heart, you have to keep pushing at it. Trust that God is fighting for you. Trust that God is going to see you through, but do not give up just because something became hard. We literally cannot give up on the first phase of adversary. We have to learn to persevere and just push through even when things feel difficult. Like bad days are never going to last. Tomorrow is a new day. If you feel like you're not thriving and at that thing that you love or that thing that you feel God has placed in your heart, just keep on learning. How can you improve this? But do not give up. Like it's something we can learn from the story of David. He was anointed to be king when he was so young. And before he became king, he went through so much. And he waited for around like 15 years before he actually became king of Israel. During that time when he was waiting to be king, he he had Saul who was running after him. His life was in, da was in danger. He had to leave Israel and go live with their enemies like he went through so much but eventually he became king and one of the greatest kings of Israel so if you're going through if you ever find yourself in this situation where you feel like you're doing so much work but nothing you're not seeing any fruit of your labors just don't give up instead See how you can improve and get better. But if it's something that you really love, if it's your passion, if it's, you know, like something you really want, don't give up on it just because you faced adversary. Unless it's not something you want, then, then you can let it go. But if it's something that you really want, I encourage you to keep pushing and to not give up. I hope that was an encouraging episode. If it did encourage you, please make sure you like and share with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.